All right, today we're starting on the shower. Um, we framed this all in thinking that would make things a lot easier. Um, it turns out that tiling on plywood is kind of tricky. And so we've gotten some feedback and some products and we are going to use Schluter uh, Curdy Board. And that's what we're gonna have as a backer to isolate the tile from the walls expanding and contracting because they're wood. So anyway, we've had to figure a bunch of things out. We've never tiled anything before. So this is going to be a um, kind of trial and error type of thing. Some things that are a little bit tricky is the light. This curve that's going on here is tricky. So, and we're also using penny tile which we found out is a little tricky to use as well. So we've got a tub already in, so we've got this little tiny tub that we'll be using and we've secured it and hooked up the drain. Everything is ready to go with the tub. On this curvy part, the foam doesn't bend that way and so they make a special product that has a bunch of notches cut in it called V-board that we're hoping to use to get this curve to follow the contour of the bus. So we're gonna see how all that works out. All right, so we've got our template made. Um, we had to make it from three separate pieces of this brown paper. So we've got that all made. It's pretty close. We're gonna make a few little notes on it where it's um, a little bit off. All right, so this is Schluter Curdy Board. So this happens to be in 3 16th. Um, we needed that thin of a, of a backer board because we have a very small area, a very small lip on the back of our tub, and so we couldn't use the really thick stuff. And so we looked locally, and there were several stores that carry this stuff, but usually only in half inch or up to two inch, so much, much larger than this. So we had a little bit of trouble getting this stuff because we had to special order it, and then so in order to do that, we had to go through a local company. So we went through a local company called The Flooring Outfit. So it's um, Steve and Jake, great guys. They really went to bat for us on getting this stuff and have been so supportive. And the, Jake was like, hey, if you have trouble getting this stuff in or knowing how it works, he goes, just give me a call. He goes, just drive the bus up here. Just do it in our parking lot. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go to that, but it might. So anyway, we're, um, we're getting ready to cut this. So this is our template. So we made our template and we just have one piece of this. So, and I think we can just use a razor blade. This is just foam with a watertight um, kind of seal on it. So anyway, this is where we're starting out. We're gonna go ahead and draw it out and try to cut it. never going to be able to get like a full shot of any of this. <laughs> All right, so we fitted this piece. Um, we've just got it temporarily up here just to see what the fit was like. And it looks like it fits really well. So the template worked, um, it worked really well. Um, so now we're going to do this back piece and that is half an inch. So the piece that we're doing here is going to be half an inch because what we're attaching to the ceiling is three quarter inch uh, V-board. And so the difference in this transition, um, we've got about a quarter of an inch lip right here where it transitions from one to the other. And so we thought if we put half inch here, it should line up almost perfectly. So.
this is Curdy V board and it has slices in it that allows it to bend. So it'll bend um, either way. So it'll bend this way, it'll bend this way. Um, this is the waterproof side. So this is the side we're gonna use. We had hoped it would bend the other way. So we would just make one cut, but this actually bends this way. And so we're gonna have to make a 24 inch cut and then another 24 inch cut and put two pieces along the ceiling. Um, but anyway, the other consideration is that when we install this, we have to fill these um, grooves. We have to back butter them essentially with, um, with thin sets. So we've got to cover this entire thing and then set it up there and then we'll screw it in um, as well. So anyway, this is what this looks like. Well, this is another thing we had to special order. So, um, and this is the minimum thickness it comes in is three quarters. So you can get it in a much thicker um, V board, but you cannot get it thinner. So that's, this is the thinnest we could go. All right, it's hard to get a preview. We're just kind of holding this up here, but this is what it'll look like. We've cut all the pieces so that they fit just right. And we've got all the seams so that they're very tight. So, all right, so we've changed our mind a little bit about the lights. Um, we were gonna have one light that was gonna shine in here, but then we got to thinking that if the curtain is shut and there's no natural light in here really, we were thinking it might be a good idea to have more than just one little puck light in here. So we put two lights. So I just went ahead and spliced these together, then pulled the wires back into here um, which should be fine. And then the last kind of issue is, so we'll have one here and one here. So the last issue was how do we kind of install these in the tile? Um, and we didn't really have a good solution for that. So what we did was we made these little plastic um, pucks on the 3D printer and these will go up here and we did it so it's um, just below the total height of the backer board plus the tile and then you know a little bit for thin set so it should come just right up to the lip of that um, for the thickness of the of the entire material so the, by the time these are installed they'll be flush with the stuff and then we can just caulk around these and then um, the way these work is they provide a little thing so if I go ahead and put these wires through they have a little hole in the back for the wires um, and that's what these will come through and then they just um, they're just friction held in so they just snap in there and then once they're in then that's it then they it just holds them like that so anyway we printed these out so we've got a couple of them they're made out of ABS plastic so they should be um, more than durable enough for heat and for all that stuff um, it should be plenty strong for what we need it to do up here. So that's going to be our solution for that. So now we've got to cut this hole into the, um, into the curdy board that's going to lay up here. So that's what we'll be doing next.
All right, so we've got all of the underlayment stuff installed. Um, on the ceiling, we went ahead and used these special washers that they have, and um, you're supposed to put them every six inches. So we've put those in, and then where we've marked a dark line here is actually a metal stud. So we've gone all the way through both layers and into like a metal stud like we see here. So um, we made sure that we hit a metal stud all along that line and we did so that was lucky um, so we've got that in next we're going to put down stuff called curdy band so it's like a really wide band that you put over all these screws where they're indented and where they could be moisture leaking and then all the seams every one of the seams is going to get sealed with that stuff so that's what we're going to do next So we've put up the top and now we can see how it's sort of bowing like that. There's like a, almost like a little ripple in it. So we're going to cut, Michelle's going to cut where the ripples are and then hopefully we can get those down and overlap them a little bit. So if I... Huh. 
problem is I'm getting all the way in. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... There. Do you need, like, the nippers? No, I think that's okay. So now I can get that flat. Right. Do you need some thin set to go up under there? To paste the other um, one down on top? Or can you squeeze some out? I don't Here. know. Here. I'm you just want... gonna... Okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna, like... Just use your finger? Yep. Okay. Okay, yep, that's fine. Okay, so now I can kind of stick yep, that down. down. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna... You want this knife? No, I, I don't have enough hands to do to do that. Okay. So Okay. Okay. Cool. No, is that good enough? Yep. Yeah. All right, so the last step in waterproofing this tub is we're gonna go ahead and use, this is just 100% silicone, and we're gonna use it in the areas around the valves. So we were able to get most of the valve, um, we were able to get it pretty close, and Curdy does make some, um, they're like rubber things that can be put on the valves, and um, they would work really nice, but we couldn't find the right size. So these are about, I think an inch is what we measured. And we just couldn't find ones that were an inch. So maybe they make them and we don't know about them. That's definitely possible. But anyway, we're just gonna use silicone. It's just 100% silicone um, weatherproof, ready in 30 minutes. We're just gonna stick it in there and just kind of go all the way around. All right, it doesn't look as good as the Schluter install videos, but it's done and I'm pretty sure it's waterproof. So um, we went ahead and tried to follow as many instructions as we could find about how to make it waterproof, how to do it the right way. I know it's in a bus, the curve is weird. So there wasn't things that were exact, but we tried to do it um, with following as many of the pieces of advice as we could find, including fully embedding the um, the board to the substrate, which is in our case is plywood. And we did that with all set, which is Schluter's own modified mortar thin set stuff. So we've done it with that. And that is supposed to be um, compatible with plywood. There's like an ANSI standard that says, hey, this is compatible with plywood. It does comply with that. So we think we're safe there. On the ceiling, in addition to fully embedding it and back buttering it, so that we could get these little notches all filled in. We also screwed it in every six inches as they recommend, and then sealed it with this sealant. Um, all the seams have been sealed with this tape and, and uh, the all set. So we've sealed it all up. Um, we're pretty sure it's waterproof. We're gonna let it sit overnight. It's the end of the day, so we're gonna go home, let it sit overnight, and then maybe start tiling tomorrow. But one thing we haven't mentioned is these little, this is also a Schluter product here. Um, it's these little end cap things. And what they do is they're just little pieces of trim that kind of clean up the edge and make it look a lot nicer from the side. So we've done some here and we've also done a little piece right here next to the tub. So hopefully when you look at it from the side, it doesn't look like foam and thin set and you know the side of a grout so anyway um tomorrow we're looking forward to actually trying to install the tile <laughs>